In this video, we will cover agents in Lamedic. So what exactly is agent? You can think of agent as a smart assistant who can understand your instruction and think about the best way to do the task and then do it by using LLM capabilities. What kind of agents we have in Lama Index? So there are mainly two kind of agents that we can use in Lama Index. One is a React agent and one is OpenAI agent. The benefit what we get with the React agent is you can use it with any kind of model. So you can use it with OpenAI models. You can also use it with open source model. So this will provide you that agenty capability with all kind of models. Whereas the OpenAI agent, we can primarily use it with OpenAI models. Now let's see how this agent help us. So suppose you have two kind of data set one is related to your documents and other could be some code files now you want to build an application around it but you do not want to build a separate application for documents and for code files and you want to build an application where a user can come and ask some question it could be related to document it could be related to code file and you want to provide a single point of interface to interact with these documents. So in that case, agent can help you. Agent would provide you the capability where it can ingest these kind of data with a single point of interface and user can ask some query. So user can either ask, could you please let me know the end-to-end -end flow of the particular application, which can give you the information from here. Other thing you can probably ask, could you please code a get in point in Python for that particular thing, it can refer to your code files. So agent would have that capability where it can decide which particular tool it has to use to complete a specific task. Now what are these tools? You can consider as an API interface. In API interface we do build a lot of endpoints, get endpoint, post endpoint for different different actions but those endpoints are for humans. Similarly you can just consider tools as an API but for agents not for humans. And when we say tools in Llama index we do have different kind of tools. We do have query engine tools which would help you to query over your documents then you do have function tool where you can pass your custom function as a tool and then your agent is going to refer the function which you have written and then there is another option we have for tools which is tool specs these are the already built tools like if you want to interact with gmail or if you want to do something with slack so these tools are already created so we just have to refer to this tool spec and then agent would refer this tool spec to provide you the correct response so this is an overall flow of agent we will go with the code and see how to create an agent and how to pass our custom function as a tool for the agent. So we are going to start with this code. So first of all, we have to define our LLM model and now we know like how to define it. You can just use the OpenAI and here I'm using GPT-4. This OpenAI is coming from LLM.OpenAI and I'm importing OpenAI from here and this would define your LLM. And after that, we have to initialize React agent as we have seen over here. There are two kind of agent we get in Llama index. One is React agent and one is OpenAI agent. Because here we are using OpenAI model. So if you want, instead of React agent, you can also call OpenAI agent. So you can go to Llama index, then you can go to agent, then you can go to OpenAI and then you can import OpenAI agent. And then from here, everything is going to be same. So you can just pass OpenAI agent dot from tools like what we are doing over here. In this case, we are going to use React agent. So I can just go ahead and remove this line because we are not going to use OpenAI agent. But if you want to use it, it's going to be same how we are using React agent. Once you get the React agent, you have to call this from tools function because as we have seen in our diagram, this React agent depends on the tools. Based on the tools only, it will define, okay, what kind of tool it has to use for what particular task. So we have to define our tools over here. And in this demo, we are planning to pass our custom function as a tools. There is no in built tools we are referring over here we want to define our custom function and then pass it as a tool if you are passing your custom function as a tool then you have to define it under a list so this is a list you can define your llm and then for this demo we are going to define verbose equal to true we will see later on why this is useful now let's go back to this read file tool and write file tool these are my custom function which has been converted into tool so you can see i am importing it from file operations tool so this is my python file which i have defined over here so let's go to file operation tool so what kind of function i have created over here so these are the simple function i have created one is to read a file so open the file name in read mode so it's a normal python function 
section where you are just opening a file and reading the content of the file and then I'm just returning the content of the file. The input for this particular function is going to be file name. Similarly, I have written another function where you can write to a file. You just should pass a file name. You just should pass a content and then it will help you to write the content on the file. So these are normal Python function. Now the interesting part is how I'm converting these functions into a tool. So for that, we have to define our function tool. So function tool is going to come from this llama index dot core dot tools from here actually you can import function tool and then you have to pass something like this so you have to define the function tool then you have to call from default so you can see multiple parameters over here so main three parameters which you have to define is the function your custom function then the name and the sum description like what kind of capability this particular function is going to provide first of all i have just created a read file tool the function name is going to be read file the read file is coming from here which this is my function name and then i'm just giving a name to this particular tool which is going to be called read file tool and then the description this would help to read the contents of the given file so this is by read file tool similarly i have defined a write file tool also here actually you can define the function tool then from default the function is going to be write file name is going to be write file tool and then the description so this would help to write the contents in the file so this is how you can convert your function into a tool now once this is defined so we can go back to our main functions now we have created your agent so your agent has been initialized now we can chat with this particular agent we can go ahead and ask some questions so here what i'm asking could you please create a file and write five sentences in it what i want in this case because i'm asking it to create a file so it should refer to my write file tool and then it should create a file according to that after that like it can put any five sentences it can write like any five random sentences over there what i want like it should be using my write file tool to create a file so let me go ahead and run this code now we have got a response and we can go over it so because we have kept this verbose equal to true so we can see the thought of this particular agent so we can go over the thoughts now first of all this agent is thinking what user wants so user wants me to create a file and write five sentence and it's saying i can use the write file tool to accomplish this task and why it's taking this because we have provided this write file tool to it and then what kind of action is going to take so this is going to be write file tool this is the same name which we have given to our tool and after that the in action input you can see okay it has taken a file name because we haven't mentioned like the file name over here so it has taken a random name file.txt and the content it's thinking like what exactly it has to write over there so this is the first sentence second third fourth and fifth and after that you can see the second thought of this particular agent and it's saying the tool has successfully created the file and written the sentence in it as there was no error message in the observation i can now confirm this to the user and now this particular answer it has thought okay it's going to provide it to user like i have created a file and written five sentences in, in it as requested and finally you are going to see this particular line in the output so if i kept this verbose equal to false then at the end you are going to see only this particular line now we will see whether this file has been actually created and there are five sentences in it so you can see it has created this file.txt as mentioned and written a file sentences in it. Now this is about writing to a file. So now let's ask another question so that we can see the demo whether it can refer the read file tool as well. So what I want, could you please read file.txt and print the contents and now let me try to run this. Yeah, so in this case, in the first thought, you can see it is referring to read file tool, which we have created and it's saying, okay, I can use this tool to accomplish the task. And after that, like it has referred this file, file.txt, and then the observation, what actually it has got in the file. I don't need to use any kind of tools anymore. I can go ahead and just answer it to a user. And that's what we see in the output as well. So now you can see we were able to get this output by referring to our custom function as a tool. If you want to write any kind of code, then also we can do that because it's basically about writing a content to a file. So I can just ask, could you please create Python file with get endpoint using fast API? So let me try to run this. 
and again you can see let's referring this write file tool and the action input what it has concluded the file name it's going to provide bin.py and there is going to be content like this and then it has decided like okay it has successfully created the file with the get endpoint and it has just referred b as an output at the last like i have created a python file named bin.py and with a get endpoint using fast api so let's go to this main.py which it has created you can see like it has referred i tool and it has created this endpoint like this so that's how actually you can pass your custom function as a tool and then use it in the agent now it gives you more control because you can write any kind of functions and then you can pass it to your agent and it can perform your desired task so that's all for this video thank you for watching